Are you new to pickleball and want to know what to wear? Or maybe you're a seasoned player just looking into new options? Stick around. I'm going to, well, I'm gonna, we're going to talk about it. Welcome on my glass, Tyler or uh, John Granda. If you're watching again, thanks for watching. Wrinkled shirt, Tyler. I actually spent some time steaming this and I really didn't enjoy that at all. I think I'm just gonna stick with being wrinkled. They probably didn't even do a great job. So what's the point? Let's be wrinkled shirt, Tyler. I'm gonna be talking to you about everything you need to know about picking the best lenses for pickleball. I'm gonna be going over best lens colors for outdoor games for sunglasses and indoor games, for glasses. I'm gonna be talking about lens features like polarizations, mirrors, etc. I'm gonna get into some exclusive lens text that you may not know of and can help you to excel on the court. I'm gonna throw in a few frame recommendations as well. If at the end of this you're ready to order, don't forget about SporterX. Definitely don't forget about our CBETA guarantee because that allows you to order from us risk-free. All right, let's get into this. All right, so what are the best lens colors for pickleball sunglasses? We're talking outdoor, we're talking bright sunny days. Typically, I really like rose, I really like copper, there is even a rose copper, and I really like brown. When you're looking at the rose and copper, really good for daytime play. It's gonna help to separate the colors on the light spectrum to reveal brighter colors, greater contrast, Contrast enhancement is huge because it's gonna make it easier to spot and track the ball. I know the ball is already bright. You got yellow, you got orange, but it, it pops just a little bit more. That's not a bad thing. It can help to increase your reaction time. You get a lot more out of the rose and the coppers and the rose coppers. Uh, you get a lot more color boosting, contrast enhancement. And so I really like those in particular. I'll get into brown in just a moment, but it's really gonna make that ball pop. The caveat here is that it may not be quite dark enough on some of those excessively bright days. The rose and the copper and the rose coppers tend to be a little bit higher in that VLT percentage, meaning they let a little bit more light through. So if you're looking for something that's darker, let's talk about brown. So for a brown lens, it is extremely versatile, super dark. It still gives you that contrast boost, that color boost that you are looking for. It just isn't maybe quite as intense as the coppers, the rose, the rose coppers, but still incredible, a great lens. And it gives you that additional coverage on those excessively bright sunny days. A really good option if you live in an environment with all weather and seasons. A lens to avoid, by the way, is your plain old, simple, boring old gray. Why? Because it really doesn't provide any benefits in terms of contrast, color enhancement, it's neutral. And so you're not gonna get, you'll get the benefit of it's a bright sunny day and it's no longer as bright and harsh on your eyes, but you're not getting that, what I call performance enhancing benefits that you would get with something that is contrast enhancing, that's color boosting, all of those things. So not a terrible lens to go with, but just not something I recommend because it's not really gonna help much or do anything. All right, now what are the best lenses for indoor pickleball glasses? Well, I always recommend clear, just straight clear with an anti-reflective coating. I think that when you're indoors, you wanna get as much light as you possibly can to your eyes and nothing is gonna do that like a clear lens. There are no UV rays inside, but artificial lights can create glare, which can be distracting, throw you off your game, and nobody wants that. If you wear your everyday eyeglasses and they don't have an AR coating, you may notice some ghost images, some weird lighting, again, that can be distracting. So I always recommend that anti-reflective coating. And by the way, not all anti-reflective coatings are created equal. We here at SporterX only work with the top tier anti-reflective coatings because it does make a difference. Really and truly, you aren't getting much difference in terms of performance in the way that an anti-reflective coating works, which is minimizing glare and reflections off the surface of the lens so that more of that light that you need to see actually makes it to your eyes. However, there is a difference in performance when it comes to how easily they smudge or how easily they scratch. And if your coating is scratched or smudged, I mean, you kind of might as well not be wearing any eyewear at all, right? Because it would almost be better that way. So if clear lenses aren't what you're going for, you want a tint, you want something that'll give you a little more color enhancement, contrast enhancement, you do still have some options. A yellow lens or a light amber lens would actually be a good option for you. Just keep in mind that with any tint, no matter the level or type of tint, you are minimizing light transmission. 
any tint on the lens is going to absorb some light transmission, which is going to mean you're not getting as much light as you need to your eyes. Much less so in a yellow tint or a light amber tint. Those do let the most amount of light through and they can help with minimizing the effect if your pickleball club uses strong artificial lights, that artificial light effect, it can help to kind of calm down those bright lights a little bit and it can help to boost your color perception, make it a little easier to spot and track the ball. A disclaimer here is that yellow and that light amber, they can be a little bit of a learning curve here, a little bit tough to get used to, some people love it, some people hate it, but a nice little call out again for our See Better Guarantee because you're never stuck with something you don't like or doesn't work for you. Another lens feature option is transitions. If you're unfamiliar with this, it is actually the brand name for the more generic term photochromic or light reactive. A really good option if you are playing all hours of the day or you like to go from indoors to outdoors and you don't feel like changing out your eyewear. The way it works, it reacts as your UV exposure or light exposure, and it lightens and darkens accordingly. An effortless way to have the perfect tint at all times. The pro here, obviously, is you don't have to pause the game to change out your lenses. I will say, I don't think that as much as it sounds like this is a great option to cover all bases, I don't think it's one pair to replace all pairs. I still think it's the best idea to get the perfect lens for the light conditions in which you're playing. Transitions, in my opinion, is kind of a good third pair. It's a really good option for when you need that versatility on the fly, but I usually push people to get just the most ideal pair for the light conditions in which they're playing. Another feature to consider, and this is more of a frame feature than a lens feature, that is interchangeable lenses. It makes your sunglasses or eyeglasses, whatever they are, much more versatile. Yes, it does require a little more effort on your part, but it is super simple to do. Uh, well, at least for sure on the frame that I'm gonna highlight here, there definitely are other frames I've come across that aren't quite as easy to interchange, but still the concept applies. It allows you to swap lenses according to the light conditions, or by the way, based on the the sport that you're playing. Yeah, maybe pickleball isn't your only sport. What's amazing about an interchangeable style is it allows you to put the perfect lens in for the sport that you're playing at the time without having to need multiple pairs of frames. Another lens feature to consider, mirror coatings. A mirror coating is a coating applied to the front side of the lens that creates more glare, kind of the opposite of an anti-reflective coating because it's creating glare and reflections off of the surface of the lens so that less light makes it through the lens. Right, More light being reflected back means less light makes it through the lens. Effectively, you get a darker lens. I've argued for a long time that it's mostly a cosmetic choice, which I think it is. There definitely, however, is a functional effect that mirror coatings can have. So there's, there's a whole other topic really that should be dedicated to that and the, the difference between cosmetic versus function. However, I would say pretty confidently that the majority of the time somebody chooses a mirror, it is for cosmetic reasons. So yeah, you're gonna look great out on the court and it's gonna provide a little bit of additional protection on those excessively bright days. Really good if you're particularly light sensitive. One more lens feature to consider, polarized. Should you get polarized lenses? I think no, I don't think that you should. Why? Because you're not really getting any benefit out of the polarized lens. The benefit of the polarized lens is that it cuts glare bouncing off of other objects. You're not getting a ton of glare off of the net, off of the court, off of the ball or paddles or other players. So you're not getting that benefit, but there is a downside potentially. You could potentially see an effect in your depth perception cues. It might affect your depth perception. And I think that we can all agree, that's not a great thing. So if you're not really getting anything to benefit out of it and you could potentially be dealing with downsides, I think that you're best to skip it. Now let's get into some lens text, specific lens text for pickleball. And we can't talk about lens tech without talking about Oakley's Prism because they really are leading the charge when it comes to amazing color enhancing, contrast enhancing lens techs. My favorite, my pick, 
for pickleball is the Prism Field. It is a rose base. It is my preferred choice for ball sports, really good for bright sunny days and amazing in contrast and color enhancement. Really good pick there, you can't go wrong. Another great option if Oakley isn't your brand. We actually have a line of SportRx designed lenses that we call our sport optimized lenses that are amazing. In particular, the start to finish. The start to finish is a rose copper base, which is gonna help to enhance contrast, do all those things that I mentioned earlier, but with a silver mirror on the front side, which is gonna help to block that excess light. Super versatile lens, really good for a wide range of light conditions. I love that lens. If you're looking for something that's a little bit on the clearer side of things, the Fog Fighter One is amazing. That is another one of our sport optimized lenses that we designed here. It's a clear lens with a good anti-reflective coating, amazing for indoors, amazing if you're going for more of the sport goggle style, which I'm gonna get into here in a moment, at minimizing fogging, because that definitely is something to be concerned with. Hey, if you're enjoying this content, but maybe you have additional questions about pickleball lens colors, or perhaps you have prescription needs, we'll reach out to one of our very friendly sports opticians because they are eagerly awaiting your call. For even more lists of best pickleball eyewear, we have blogs, we have videos, and we'll put links in the description below. All right, let's get into some frame recommendations. The first option here is the Oakley Flak 2.0 XL. Really good pick for outdoor. Honestly, you can put clear lenses in this and wear it indoor as well. This is by far a sport favorite frame because this is a great frame for just about every sport under the sun. Incredible active frame packed with Oakley Tech, O-Matter, Unobtainium, Plutonite, Prism. O-Matter is the frame material, super lightweight, super flexible, super durable. Unobtainium is their grip material, which is this grip laden. Tons of grip in the temple, grip in the nose, and that Unobtainium material is hydrophilic, which means that it absorbs moisture, which means that it grips better actually as you sweat rather than being more prone to sliding. The lenses are made out of plutonite. That's their term for their lens material, which is super lightweight, super impact resistant. Definitely gonna keep your eyes safe. And then Prism, like I mentioned, that Prism Lens Tech is incredible. These are interchangeable, like I mentioned, very easily interchangeable, great for swapping on the go. You could use them indoors as well, like I mentioned with clear. You can swap them for the perfect lens no matter what you're doing and very RXable, by the way. If you have a prescription even a strong, relatively prescription, you can get this in your prescription. If you are the type of person who has been told, no, you can't get your prescription in a wrap frame, reach out to us because I think we might be able to help you out. When it comes to sizing, this has an SFW of 135 millimeters, which lands you in a men's medium range or a women's large. I will say though, it is a very versatilely fitting frame. If you think that, that might you might be outside of that range a little bit, it might still work quite well for you. Next up, our indoor frame recommendation, the Wiley X Gamer. This is for the person who is looking for the absolute safest option out there. This is obviously much more that sport goggle style. You have all of the protection you could possibly want. These are actually safety rated. It's a sport safety rating. It's called ASTM F803 rated. Bit of a mouthful, but it tells you everything you need to know. You are covered with this, no matter what's being thrown at you. Really, really awesome style, super versatile. One of the things that I love about this in particular, if you are familiar at all with the sport goggle styles, is that you have to choose before you are wearing them whether or not you want the goggle style or the strap style or you want the temple style. Well, with the gamer, you actually have convertibility options here. You can pop the temple off and you can replace it with the included strap figure out which way you like to wear it best. You do, of course, with the temples, get the strap that connects at the ends of the temples, but it's just a totally different feel and a different effect on your head between the two different wearable options. And so I love that about this frame. You can decide, you can swap as needed. Also very RXable. These are actually made with the RX wearer in mind. So really wide range of prescriptions this can handle. This has an SFW of 131 millimeters, which lands you in that uh, medium range for men and women, probably on the smaller end of medium for men and larger end of medium for women. 
I also wanted to throw in our frame, the Sport RX Coda. The reason that I want to throw this out there is because actually when I was introduced to pickleball and absolutely fell in love with it, this was the frame that I was wearing and it worked amazingly well for me. I loved it outside of not having an anti-fog coating. I think that's the only thing that I could have benefited more from in this pair. We were also playing in kind of some uh, wet, rainy-ish conditions, but either way, still I think that's a good idea if you're looking at this pair keenly, which I think you should be. We used a bio-resin frame material, a little more eco-friendly, a little more sustainable. We did not forego the grip, of course. We have grip on the nose, we have grip on the insides of the temple. It is, for me personally, I can say the absolute perfect fit. I freaking love these things. Uh, really simple cam hinge, really durable, straightforward frame, but amazing for a wide range of sport options, especially pickleball. That wraps it up for things to consider when deciding on the right lens for you for pickleball. I hope that this was enlightening. I hope you learned something and that I covered all of my bases. If you're liking any of these styles, stick around for a moment longer. We'll have an easy to click shop now button. And again, if you're ready to order, do not forget about that Seabitter guarantee. I really think it gives you a ton of peace of mind. And if peace of mind is your thing, us opticians, licensed, trained, knowledgeable, very friendly, who would love to help you get it right the first time. That's like our whole reason for being here. So let us help you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this is interesting or valuable information. If so, throw us a like, cause that helps us out. You can find relevant videos over here. If you're ready to shop any of these great styles, which I think you should be, you click this button right here, take you right to them. If you're ready to consume some more content like we all are these days, check us out on our social media outlets. I think that you'll like, we have some pretty cool stuff. Check us out at SportRx.